Hello everyone. I want to talk today about abortion. Now, this topic was actually my suggestion because I know that abortion is a very touchy subject and I don't see it discussed a lot in the pagan community. I don't know. I don't think it's really been discussed. I haven't seen it before and I really wanted to get everyone's opinion on it and and how people viewed abortion because I know how a lot of people you know who follow the Christian faith feel and people who you know follow Catholicism and how they feel and most of the time religion plays a role in your view on abortion most of the time with most people it does because their religion gives them a conviction about whatever it is or the church already has a view on abortion and the individual usually picks that up based on you know their pastor or their priest or you know a verse in the bible or something to that effect so it was really interesting to see everyone's viewpoints and i think everyone has a valid viewpoint i don't think anybody's wrong um but here are my views on abortion i the first thing that I believe is I don't think that the government has a right to tell you what you can do with your body. I don't think that, well, I think that, like I said, they don't have a right to tell you to do it with your body, regardless of what that is. That includes, you know, getting a hysterectomy at any age, which, unless it's medically necessary, you are not allowed to do. I don't know if everyone knows that. Um... You know, you should be able to marry whoever you want to. You should be able to do whatever you want to your own body as long as it's not uh, endangering other people or, you know, you using illegal substances. I think that it is, you should be able to do with it whatever you want with your body. And now, on the same token as that, I have kind of mixed views on abortion because, uh, as most of you know, I come from a... a predominantly Christian background so I did have those ideals at you know from like 16 years of my life and through time my views have changed a little bit I feel like abortion is necessary and okay in certain situations I don't think that anything is black and white in life I know a lot of people see right and wrong and that's it. And I, I don't I don't think that that's really the truth. I think there's always a gray area. There's always an exception. Not everybody falls in the same category every time. You know, there's millions of people on this earth. Not everyone is going to experience the same thing. I think that if you are raped at any age, abortion should be made available to you. I think that if you are raped, they should automatically offer you the, you know, the morning after pill. It should be standard. You know, I don't know if it is or not. So it may be, I don't know. But if not, it should be made available to, to these women who are raped. I don't think that they should have to carry this child. I, I, I just, I don't. I don't think that they should have to. Now, some of you may say, well, then that means you condone killing the baby. Well, if you want to put it that way, then yes, I do. And the reason why I think of it like this is because it was not a choice that was made. It wasn't the woman's choice to uh, engage in intercourse with this man. It, was, it wasn't her choice. She did not go out and you know sleep with him willingly it was forced upon her and to have to carry a child that was forced upon you that was made in the act of hate and rage and anger i don't think 
anyone who hasn't been through that type of experience has the right to tell you what to do with yourself. Personally, that's my opinion on that. Now, I don't think that abortion should be used as birth control. I don't think that you should be able to have an abortion every other month. And women do. I don't think that's right. I don't morally think that that's right. Now, at, at the same token, I still don't believe that the government has the right to tell you not to do it. And my reasoning behind both of those views is, I can agree with it, but that doesn't mean I have to force my opinion on everybody else. A lot of people who are pro-life like to force their opinions on people that are pro-choice. I understand people who are pro-life. I get their points. I understand their points. And I agree with their points. But I also agree with people who are pro-choice. I don't think that abortion, personally, should be used as birth control. One, it's over $400. So, unless you're making good money, which a lot of people in this economy are not doing so, it's usually cheaper to get birth control or condoms. And, you know, if you can't afford that, abstaining is 100% guaranteed for you not to get pregnant. So, I mean, overall, that's pretty much my, my views on abortion. I'm not judgmental on it. If you've had 27 abortions, I will let you know right now I don't agree with you. I think you're wrong. But it's your body. That's your decision. But I don't think it's right. But I also don't think it's right to force a woman who's been raped to carry a child to give it up for abort um, for adoption. I don't think that that's right either. Now, obviously, I can never get pregnant. That's obvious. Hello. But I have been through a rape before. And based on that experience, knowing that I, I know I can never get pregnant, but trying to think about it in my heart and in my mind... If I would have been able to get pregnant, I don't think I would have wanted to have that baby. Now, obviously, that was impossible, so I can't 100% know what I would do based on the fact that it's it's not in the realm of it's not in the realm of actual reality. But I don't think I would have would have wanted to do that. Would have wanted to go through that experience. You know what I mean? And you know. Everyone, especially when it comes to abortion, you really just need to think about people's personal experiences, people's lives. You really don't know why people make the decisions that they make, you know, or why, what their reasoning is for, for this abortion. You know, you, you just don't know. So to say that abortion is wrong, you know, it's, you can't grade it like that, especially women who it's medically necessary. And a lot of people said it's, it's never medically necessary. Well, let me tell you about a case that I read about. A woman was pregnant and the baby was not forming right. The baby had no head. So I ask you this, women who don't agree, would you want to carry a baby who is not a, it's not alive. I mean, it's not going to live. Would you want to carry a baby full term and deliver a child with no head? What is the point in that? What, what, what is the need for that? You know, sometimes it is medically necessary, regardless of what anybody wants to say. If you don't think it's medically necessary, you need to do more research. Because it is. I wouldn't want to do that. I wouldn't want to go through that. So I just think everyone needs to look at everyone's viewpoints and it kind of agree to disagree and stay respectful. Granted, everyone has the right to do what they want with their body and I think that they should always have the right to choose. You want to have the baby? I'm proud of you. If you don't want to have the baby, that's your decision. And those are pretty much my views on abortion. I know I've probably repeated myself 1,700 times. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video.